Hey, get it, guys. It's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. I do a lot of 1UZ conversions and wiring. And... Actually, I'm going to get a name tag. Because some people think I'm Gavin. It's Calvin. Not that it really bothers me to tell you the truth. As long as you don't call me an Australian. That, that's a really big insult for a Kiwi. Anyway, we're doing a wiring loom for a man in Australia. And it happens to be with a link. And I've been doing a bit of a series on this loom. It's going to feature in quite a few. I wanted to do some setup videos. And in future, I want to do a little bit more on the wiring and setup. I'll kind of go over this again. But in this one, I want to do a injector test. So i am set up most of the other ones. And we've done little videos on each one. And breaking it down to the real simple stuff. So we're going to do an injector test. This one has a G4 Extreme on it. It's pretty much the same principle as the G4 Plus. And it's really simple to do an injector test. I've already done the spark test because you don't want to do that after. So don't do an injector test and then start firing sparks into the cylinder because there's fuel in there. It goes bang, burns leg hairs off. I was unharmed, but it's a valuable lesson that you guys don't have to repeat because I've already done it. So looking at the loom, at the moment, I don't have the injectors plugged in. Uh, you can do it if you wanted to plug them in and have a stethoscope. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to do it slightly different. I want to identify that I've got my injectors all wired up in the correct order, which is the cylinder order. I've already multimetered it. I wouldn't normally bother because I know I've got it right. But it never hurts to, to check. And I wouldn't be able to make a video if I wasn't checking it. Here I am in the software. I'm actually already connected to the ECU. We, we, to connect then you go up here. That would normally be connect if you weren't connected. Uh, because I'm connected, it says disconnect. We're going to go across to the fuel setup. And we're going to fuel main. And we're going to talk later on about modelled fueling. This one doesn't have that as an option, but we'll talk about that in the next, uh, when I run a G4 Plus. So it's on sequential. I've wired it sequential. I go to injector number one. I probably should plug it in. So it is now plugged in. I push OK. And I can hear it ticking. I then turn that off. I'm going to go to injector two. I'm going to go over to number two over here. I'm going to plug that in. Because we know number one works, so we push OK. And again, I can hear an injector ticking. Turn that off. Go to number three, and I, ho I hope you're getting there's a bit of a pattern here. We plug that in, push OK. That one sounds quite different, doesn't it? These are just secondhand injectors. We're going to turn that off. Funny enough, we're going to go to number four. We're just going to very quickly whip through the last of them. So that's just a really, really simple way of testing those injectors. And it means I know that all, all of them are in the correct order and correct place. There was one that sounds different, so they would probably recommend getting those uh, serviced at some point. But this is my test engine. It gets abused and, and gets a hard time. So I hope that was helpful. And we'll uh, catch you with the next one. We'll talk again.